In this video, we will see the concept of grouping and ungrouping of images. Means, if you want to create a puzzle game type, means identify the pictures, you can use that facility. We'll just insert a new slide, insert, new slide, fine. A blank slide we will take here, layout. We will insert one of the picture, insert. Move to picture, click on clip art, see here, just select clip art, press search, you will get the list of pictures, see here, we will just take one of the picture, suppose a bus, This is a single object. Now to break apart this image, just right click, move to grouping, press ungroup. See here, just press on yes. Once again select it, right click, grouping and press ungroup. You can see the break apart of this image. Now keep the image as it is, just select the parts of an image. Move the mouse on a particular selection. Apply the effect for this image. See, move to custom animation, add effects, entrance and suppose we will take here fly in. Fine, fly in from bottom. Just select next part of that particular image. Once again, add effect, entrance, fly in. From top side, we will apply the effect. We will select some more parts. Now, if you run this slide, see, from view menu also, we can run the slide, view, slideshow. This is our first slide. Now just see the unknown image. If you click the mouse one by one, the remaining parts will join it. And you will get a complete image. So in this way, for identifying the pictures, you can use the concept of group and ungroup. After ungroup, you can just select the individual parts and apply the effect. And at the time of slideshow, you will just get a complete image. Now we'll just check the options which are remaining in format menu. See font, bullets, alignment is same as MS Word, line spacing, change case we have covered. Replace fonts means uh, as see in this slide at present a particular font is there. If you want to change this slide you can directly press the mouse on a particular font or you can just change the font from here also. Replace fonts. See at present suppose Arial with Arial black replace that effect will take the change next we have covered design or slide design one in the same next is slide layout the different types of layouts we have seen The next is placeholder. Through placeholder, you can just fill the color to a text box or change the border color or border thickness of a text box line. Just see here, fill the color, line colors, line thickness, line styles and click OK. See the effect. This is only possible through fill a format placeholder option or from 
the fill color and lime color option insert menu we have covered all the options through view see at present we are at a normal view if you click on slide sorter means all the slides will be displayed at a minimized screen from here also you can set the transitions see the effects designs to a slide whatever slide see all the slides have taken the effect as we click on this but if you require to change the slide background for a particular slide just click on this arrow suppose this one and click apply to selected slides see here the rest of the two is remain same so through slide sorter you can see all the slides at a time once again to go back just click on normal here you can see the notes page option we can write a remark or a note for this slide the color gray scale option is covered from standard toolbar the task pane the window which was activated right now is disabled to activate again just click on task pane you will get a box again to activate or deactivate toolbars we have seen this option in ms word to activate the rulers or deactivate it just use the ruler option for grids we have seen from here on and off you can also do the same thing from here grids and guides header and footer we have seen how to add a date and time and fix a slide number to a slide or date and time in the previous video also zoom facility to display the slide text in a enlarge way or fit way under edit you will get two options other than word and excel that is duplicate and delete slide see to make a duplicate of a slide click the slide select it and move to the uh, duplicate slide see you will have a two copies of the previous slide to delete a slide move to edit and click on delete slide rest of the options are same as ms word and excel undo redo cut copy paste clear and select all find and replace we have seen in ms word the new feature in file menu under powerpoint is pack and go now suppose after creating the presentation if you take a copy of this presentation to another computer it should run without a powerpoint presentation software so we have to create a runtime file which is possible through pack and go wizard see here just follow the steps start pick files choose destination link we were finished just click on next active presentation we have to pack it just click next choose destination means the new file which is creating where we have to save it suppose education folder we are taking select just next include linked files if there are next next and click on finish the file is just creating you can now see the created file under that folder so the runtime file a file which runs without a powerpoint software is created through pack and go facility 
rest of the options you are already familiar about the save as to make a duplicate of a presentation how to save the file close the file open the file we have seen in ms word so here we completes the ms powerpoint tutorial